Teenage superstar Yanni talks about his romance with Linda Evans. Plus, an insider's look at the fireworks display tonight. There Tonight on Evening, this new age superstar talks about his music. Every song means something personal to me. Life in the Northwest. There's a lot of beauty up here. And his romance with Linda Evans. She has inspired a lot of music. When you fall in love as a human being, you're very sensitized. And the emotions run. Yanni has become an American success. That's tonight on Evening. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. We hope you're having a great one. I'm Brian Tracy. Penny's still on vacation. She'll be back on Monday. Tonight, we're coming to you from Camp Terry, which is a YMCA camp right here in Preston. And believe it or not, there is a connection between the YMCA and the Fourth of July. And we'll explain that all to you a little bit later in the show. But first, we're going to introduce you to a man who is probably the biggest star in New Age music. His name is Yanni. And tonight, he tells Jim Dever how his musical instincts have led him to fame, fortune, and the love of a woman by the name of Linda Evans. Every song means something personal to me. My music comes from life, it's an inspiration. My music is life. Musician, celebrity, American success story. The man on actress Linda Evans' arm is a star in his own right, and his name is Yanni. If the rhythm, melody, and sound are used correctly, you can communicate within a second or two seconds. Instantly, I can just do one chord to the next, a little change, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. Now that he has everybody's attention, an accomplishment Yanni never imagined as a child, when you were a little boy in Greece, did you ever dream of all this? No, I, I didn't. I didn't dream of this. I. I thought I was going to be a psychologist, to tell you the truth, when I was a kid. In 1973, this former member of the Greek national swim team came to America to study psychology, but he couldn't resist the lure of his first love, music. Six albums later, he still devotes total concentration to his sweeping instrumental creations, often composing for days without sleeping or eating. You hear music everywhere you go in your head? Yeah. Music is, is a, a sound, actually. You know, it's a very, part, uh, a very big part of my life right now. Another big part is Linda Evans. Two years ago, she was drawn to Yanni through his music, these days, his biggest fan is also his greatest inspiration. She has inspired a lot of music. When you fall in love as a human being, you're very sensitized, and the emotions run. Last year, Yanni and Linda cuddled for the cameras on the Oprah Winfrey Show, and Yanni introduced his music to a whole new audience. It's the first song you've ever written for her? Yeah. Oh. We're so touched to be hearing it here. Thank you. That show, I was very nervous. It was the first time I was in a major television show, talk show. I was talking about a very sensitive subject. It was uh, quite an experience. Mm -hmm. It was a very pleasant experience, as it turns out. Oprah did for Yanni what Ed Sullivan did for the Beatles. Just two days after the show, his album sales had doubled, and he gained a huge new legion of followers, most of them women. Does Linda ever feel threatened by the number of female fans you have? I don't think so. No, there's a lot. She's a very secure human being. She's very strong. And I think the reason that we're attracted to each other is that we're both strong in that way. We don't play the game. It's been a while since I've been up here in Seattle. The couple divide their time between Los Angeles and the Northwest. There's a lot of beauty up here. It opens my heart. <laughs> Linda owns a villa near Tacoma, where Yanni finds the inspiration to compose. I've written actually maybe five or six songs for the next album. They were all, all of them were written here. 
Yanni's latest album, Reflections of Passion, topped the New Age music chart for a record 11 months. While he's grateful for the success, he resents the labeling. What, what is your type of music? What are you? I don't know. It's music. You don't like the New Age label? No, it's very small. That's a, that's a little box. It's like, let's all meditate kind of thing. It's not, that's not what I do. While Yanni, the international star, takes his music and his audience in new directions, he'll always remember young Yanni Chrysomalus, the boy who came to America in search of a dream and found it. Never forget who you are or where you come from. I let life do things to me. I go in it and stay open, and I've stayed open all of my life. I respond emotionally to it. And then, as accurately and as honestly as I can, I try to communicate that to others through music. Yanni says that he receives hundreds of letters from fans every week, but the most touching that he's ever gotten was from a 17-year-old boy who was on the verge of committing suicide. And he told Yanni that his music was so powerful that it actually saved his life. Now, stay with us.